Hey guys, this is O'Shea here. Let's get started. In today's video, I am going to answer a question that I always get before we even get started. Please click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I understand you needed to watch a few videos first. I get it, I get it. But we are now committed to this relationship and you shall. <laughs> you shall subscribe to my channel. So I'm just gonna wait. Button right now, wherever it is. And while you guys are at it, if you're already subscribed or if you're about to subscribe, click that little bell and it gives you notifications of every time my channel has a new video. So the question that I get a lot nowadays is, Shay, how do you get your hair to keep growing long? I feel like some people, um, the question was, I feel like I've had my hair for so long and it seems stagnant. Like it seems like it is just not growing. So I have a few tips and tricks to help you if you're in that phase where you feel like your hair has reached a plateau and it's just, it's just not growing anymore. Number one is you may be using too much products. A lot of us out here say this to you guys and it's like, y'all ain't listening. You might be using too much products. You feel what I'm saying? You might be using too much um, greases and oils, rose water and aloe vera juice and whatever it is you're using, the things that are good for your your product, your hair, you, you can overload in the process as well. So be mindful of how much stuff you use in your hair. Also, if you're just trying new things, that's still a lot of things that you're putting in your hair. So number one, you're using too much product. You're manipulating your hair too much. Number two, manipulating your hair too much. You guys know the thing. You sitting down and you watching TV and you're just like all up in your hair, just doing whatever. Or every two weeks you are getting a fresh retwist and a new style in your hair. This can be stopping the process of growth because you're now not letting your hair go free. Like the freer your hair is, I feel, and this is just my opinion, I feel your hair will grow way quicker than how it is right now. Like stop manipulating your hair so much. Stop putting your hands in your hair. Leave your hands out of your head. Trust and believe 14 years in, I am still learning this. So don't feel bad about it. Number three is you have a lack of moisture in your hair. Now this can go back to number one where I say too much products, but it is kind of different because when your hair is lacking moisture and it becomes dry and brittle, all it's gonna do is break. If the grass is turning brown, that means it's dehydrated. There's no um, water going into it. So it's just gonna turn brown and then it's gonna crack off from whatever green greenery that's on it already. So the same thing goes with your hair. Like if you don't moisturize it enough without using so much products, then your hair is not gonna grow. A simple moisturizer would be distilled water because distilled water is good for your hair. It doesn't strip it and it doesn't dry it. I like vitamin E because vitamin E is good for your hair. It helps promote hair growth. It leaves it shiny, bouncy, all that jazz. So a simple moisturize, moisturizer that you can spray into your hair every single day would just be distilled water and vitamin E. Or if you want to, you could splurge and get yourself some rose water and vitamin E or aloe vera juice mixed with rose water and vitamin E. All of these oils have different benefits. So whatever you're struggling with right now, use one of those oils with that the, the water solution, mix that up together, spray your hair every single day, I would say. I would, if your hair is really dry, like if you can go a couple days, do it every other day or do it like three times a week and you should be good to go. And last but not least is number four is using materials that strip away the moisture in your hair like cotton and wool and polyester and all that stuff. And we not, we aren't, um, we aren't knowing, consciously knowing that the things that we wear are stripping our hair of moisture. Like if we wear a baseball cap, that in itself is made of cotton or whatever material and that's just gonna 
suck all that out of your hair so if you want to wear a hat I will suggest like trying to this would be an extra step you don't have to do it but try to insulate it with like a silk um, patch or something that goes on top of your head so you don't have to worry about that also try to invest in a silk or satin pillowcases and sheets because when you don't feel like wrapping your hair just sleeping on that you'll be fine the moisture is not gonna go anywhere just don't OD and grease your hair and then lay down on the silk uh, pillowcase because you'll wake up with a grease puddle on top of your bed this it's it's happened to me I hope you guys enjoyed that video those are my four tips to help you grow your hair longer if you feel like it's just not growing anymore. I hope that helped. If you think I missed out any tips, please leave comments below. I love you guys already because you guys keep the conversation going downstairs, 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 down below. Without me even being there, you guys talk amongst each other and you guys help each other and give some feedback. There's one or two people who come up in there with their negativity, but I I straight up delete it because we, we are peace and love and chicken grease type establishment over here. So yeah, um, I love you guys so much for watching. Please click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also click my new channel that I have with my best friend Chevy. We're doing challenges and all kind of stuff. Your girl getting busy. You heard? <laughs> so click that, I'll leave it here. Or if you go to my main page, you'll see the, the display of my other channel there as well. Um, yeah. I love you so much, Tiger Lilies. Toodles.